speed control a 450 Hz application, in red color. Speed control a 460 Hz application, in blue color. All the wires should be 0.75 square millimeters, or larger. And shield wires for all external connection is recommended. Pickup shield wire should be connected to terminal D of the controller. Wiring cables for the actuator should be 1.3 square millimeters or larger. Shield wire for the actuator should be connected to terminally of the controller. Battery cables should be 1.3 square millimeters or larger. Between battery plus and terminal F, 10 ampere fuse must be installed to protect the speed controller. Idle connection. It is necessary to make idle connections between terminal G and M of the controller. An idle toggle switch can be arranged. Pick up connections. Rotate the pickup until it touches the flywheel ring gear. And then, back out the pickup by 3 fourth turn, that is 270 degree counterclockwise. Finally, lock the nut to fix the pickup. There are six potential meters with range between 7 to 5 o'clock. The potential meter is now indicating 7 o'clock that is minimum value. Turn the volume slowly clockwise to increase the value. The maximum value is 5 o'clock. To decrease the value, turn the volume slowly counterclockwise. The minimum value is 7 o'clock. There are four potentiometers with range of 25 turns. To decrease the value, turn the volume slowly counterclockwise. At the minimum value, the clicking sound goes off. To increase the value, turn the volume slowly clockwise. At the maximum value, the clicking sound goes off. Adjustments before starting the engine. Emergency switch off. Idle switch on. Starting fuel 5 o'clock, maximum value. Speed ramping between 9 to 12 o'clock.
and then start up the engine. Idle switch off. With idle disconnected, the engine goes to the running speed. And then, adjust the speed volume to increase or to decrease the running speed. Place the idle switch on position, back to idle speed. Adjust the idle volume to between 800 and 900 RPM. Place idle switch off position to go back to run speed. At no load condition, turn the gain volume clockwise until the engine is getting unstable. Turn the gain volume counterclockwise until the engine becomes stable. With the same manner, turn the stability volume clockwise until the engine is getting unstable. Turn the stability volume counterclockwise until the engine becomes stable. Turn the run lamp volume counterclockwise until the lamp is on. At the rated speed, as pressing the button over desk, gradually turn over speed volume counterclockwise until over speed lamp is on. And the engine is shut off simultaneously. Start up the engine again. To minimize exhaust smoke, run the engine at idle. Turn the starting fuel volume counterclockwise until the engine speed begin to fall down. Turn the starting fuel volume clockwise slightly so that the idle speed is returned to the preset level. When the speed lamping volume is set at 7 o'clock, the engine reaches the rated speed very sharply. When the speed lamping volume is set at 5 o'clock maximum value, the engine reaches the rated speed very slowly. Troubleshooting against fast hunting problem. When the fast hunting is noticed, use a JUT E1 switch and E2 switch can be a solution. Press D1 switch down to off position. Adjust gain volume. Continuously adjust stability volume. If hunting problem should be still present, press D2 switch off position.
with the same manner adjust gain volume. Continuously adjust stability volume. Troubleshooting against engine not starting. When the engine would not start up but cranking only. Turn the starting fuel volume to 5 o'clock maximum value. For another case of engine startup problem, increase the idle volume to solve it. After engine startup, it's necessary to adjust the idle volume again. Troubleshooting with a multi duster. The normal resistance of the pickup is between 50 and 1000 ohms. The normal resistance between terminal A and B is between 3.5 and 4.5 ohms. The battery supply voltage should be 20 to 28 volts DC. While cranking the engine, the voltage between terminal C and D should be over 1.5 volt in AC. However, it is more reliable to get signal 3.0 volt in AC or higher. While engine running, voltage between A and B should be between 6 to 15 volts DC. Emergency mode. For the emergency mode, place emergency switch on position. As pressing emergency test switch, start up the engine. And then, adjust the emergency speed volume to the desired RPM. Release the emergency test switch to finish the test. To activate the emergency mode, cut off two jumper wires, and you can run the engine at emergency mode. 